Hello and welcome. In this video we will talk about how to set up Metabase once your VM is up and running and different options of connecting to your database you want to use with Metabase. So let's dive into it. To start Metabase, copy the public IP of the VM and paste into the browser. Hit enter. Click on let's get started. Start Metabase up for the first time and you'll see this screen. The account you create when you first install Metabase is an admin account by default. Type in your info, and when you're ready to continue, click the next button. Next thing it will ask you some information about the database you want to use with Metabase. You can provide it right here or you can do it later after login. If you are ready to connect, provide following information. Select the database type from drop down. For example PostgreSQL. The database name. The host name of the server where your database lives. The port the database server uses. The username you use for the database. The password you use for the database. I will explain you. This is a large database options later in this video. If you don't have this information handy, just click I'll add my data later. If you want them to collect some anonymous info about how you use Metabase, enable, allow Metabase to anonymously collect usage events, option. If you want to get updates for new features and releases, subscribe to the Metabase newsletter here. Once you are ready, click on, take me to Metabase, link. This is the screen you will see when you first log in to Metabase. This is a Metabase homepage. When you first log in, Metabase will show you a few things on the homepage. Some automatic explorations of your tables that you can look at and save as a dashboard if you like any of them. An area where things you or your teammates create will show up, along with a link to see all the dashboards, questions, and pulses you have. A list of the databases you've connected to Metabase. Once you've created some dashboards, any of them that you pin in the main Our Analytics collection will show up on the homepage for all of your teammates, so that when they log in to Metabase they'll know right where to go. If you connected your database to Metabase during setup, you'll see it listed at the bottom of the homepage along with the sample dataset that Metabase comes with. Click on a database to see its contents. You can click on a table to see its rows, or you can also click on the bolt icon to x-ray a table and see an automatic exploration of it, or click on the book icon to go to the data reference view for that table to learn more about it. As you and your team create dashboards and collections, they'll start to show up on the homepage. Click on a collection in the Our Analytics section to see its contents, or click Browse All Items to see everything you and your team have made. Click the Ask a Question button in the top right of Metabase to start a new simple exploration of one of your tables. Ask a more detailed custom question using the Notebook Editor, or write a new SQL query if you want to really dig in. To make a dashboard or pulse, click the plus icon in the top right of the main navigation bar. Dashboards are made up of saved questions that you can arrange and resize as you like. They're a great way to track important metrics and stats that you care about. Pulses are what regularly scheduled reports are called in Metabase. They can be sent out either via email, Slack, or both. The search bar at the top of the screen helps you find tables, dashboards, collections, saved questions, metrics, segments, and pulses in an instant. The little console icon at the top right of the navbar will take you to the SQL editor where you can run your own native queries. The gear icon gives you different options such as account settings, admin if you're a admin user, activity etc. When you click on admin, a page appears with new navigation bar. It is called admin panel. It shows option for setting up email and Slack, public sharing, updates and lot more. You can add new members or group by selecting people tab and clicking add someone or create a group. Data model will show you the metadata of the table. Just select any table and it will show you fields and their details. To add database, you can select databases tab and click add database. When you have some groups, you'll want to control their data access by going to the permission section of the admin panel. You'll see an interactive table that displays all of your databases and all of your groups and the level of access your groups have for each database. To come back to home page, click on gear icon and select exit admin option. Now this is all about home page and its navigation bar and admin panel. You can connect to database after login as well. To do so, in the main navigation bar, click on the gears icon in the top right, and select admin. Once in the admin section, select the databases tab from the navigation bar at the top of the screen. You'll see a list of your connected databases, if any. To connect a database to Metabase, click Add Database and follow the connection instructions for your database. 
Some basic setup of Metabase. Choose when Metabase syncs and scans. By default, Metabase does a lightweight hourly sync and an intensive daily scan of field values. If you have a large database, you can turn on the option, this is a large database, let me choose when Metabase syncs and scans. Once on, you can review when and how often the field value scans happen. If you enable this and save your changes, you'll see a new tab at the top of the form called, Scheduling. Click on that, and you'll see options to change when and how often Metabase syncs and scans. You can turn on the option to choose when Metabase scans, and select one of three scan options in the Scheduling tab. First is, Regularly, on a schedule. You can do this on daily, weekly or monthly basis. Second is, only when adding a new filter widget. Lastly, never, I'll do this manually if I need to. Save your changes. If you'd like to sync your database manually at any time, click on it from the databases list in the admin panel and click on the Sync Database Schema Now button on the right side of the screen. When Metabase first connects to your database, it takes a look at the metadata of the columns in your tables and automatically assigns them a type. You can manually edit table and column metadata in Metabase at any time from the Data Model tab in the Admin panel. Now Metabase is ready with your database. You can query your data to get more insights about your business. In the next video we will discuss about different ways of asking questions in Metabase depending on the complexity of questions and how to visualize the results. Thank you.